Sorghum is a cereal grain that is cultivated primarily for its edible seeds, and it is an important staple crop in many parts of the world. Sorghum was domesticated from its wild ancestor more than 5,000 years ago in what is today Sudan. The life cycle of sorghum can be divided into two category growth stages. The stages 0 to 5 are for vegetative growth, which includes emergence, 3 leaf, 5 leaf, growing point differentiation, flag leaf visible, and boot. The stages 6 to 9 are for reproductive growth, which includes flowering, soft dough, hard dough, and maturity. In general, the sorghum seeds are planted in the spring or early summer when the soil temperature is warm enough for seed germination. The germination and emergence or stage 0 is the first stage of vegetative growth for sorghum. The plant is visible when the first leaf, known as the coleoptile leaf, breaks through the soil surface. The coleoptile leaf is shorter than the later emerging leaves and has a rounded leaf tip with vibrant green color. The three leaf or stage one occurs 10 to 20 days after emergence. Three leaves are fully expanded. The color of the third leaf is visible. It is worth noting that once a leaf's color forms, the leaf no longer expands. Because the growing point is still under the soil surface, much of the leaf area can be removed by hail damage without killing the plant. The plants are about 3 to 4 inches tall. The five leaf or stage 2 occurs 20 to 25 days after emergence. Five leaves are fully expanded. The collar of the fifth leaf is visible. The growing point is still below the soil surface. The plant enters a period of accelerated growth, the root system expands rapidly, and the stem elongates and thickens. The first leaf coleoptile may drop off from the lower stem. The plants are about 7 to 9 inches tall. The growing point differentiation or stage 3 typically occurs 30 to 40 days after emergence. The growing points are the areas of the plant where new leaves and branches develop. In this stage, new leaf development within the whorl ceases, and the potential leaf number is defined. The growing point is above the soil surface and changes from producing leaves to forming heads. Following growing point differentiation, rapid stem elongation, leaf development, and nutrient uptake occur. The plants are about 12 to 15 inches in height. One or two of the bottom leaves may have fallen off, and tillers may be present at the base of the plant. During the flag leaf visible or stage 4, the last leaf called the flag leaf is visible in the whorl. The flag leaf is shorter than the preceding leaves. Rapid stem elongation and leaf area increase also occur. The last two or three leaves fully expand during this period. The head continues to develop, and about 80% of the total leaf area has formed. The plant growth and nutrient uptake continue at a rapid rate. Typically, the plant progresses from the flag leaf visible to the boot stage in 5 to 10 days. The boot or stage 5 occurs 50 to 60 days after emergence. The boot stage is when the sorghum panicle, also known as the head, is in the flag leaf sheath and can be seen as a bulge or swelling. The leaf collars of all leaves are visible, and the panicle is pushed up through the flag leaf collar by the upper stalk, known as the peduncle. All leaves have fully expanded, and the maximum leaf area is achieved. The maximum potential head size and seed number are also set. It is important to protect the leaf to ensure light interception or photosynthesis during grain filling. The flowering or stage 6 is for the reproductive growth of sorghum. The rapidly growing panicle or head emerges from the protective flag leaf sheath and is visible. Full exertion of the panicle occurs at this stage. Flowering or blooming is the most critical stage in the life cycle of sorghum plant. The plant begins flowering from the top of the panicle and progresses downward as soon as the panicle has completely emerged from the leaf sheath. The stamens of flowers produce the pollen, and the stigmas of flowers receive the pollen. A field of sorghum is in the flowering stage when blooming has progressed halfway down the panicle in 50% of the plants, and it is also called half-bloom stage. 
It typically takes four to nine days for a single panicle to complete the flowering process. During the soft dough or stage seven, grain is the main priority for the plant. Grain begins forming as soon as flowering and pollination are complete. The grain or kernel quickly expands and contains a milky fluid, and then forms soft dough as starch is rapidly accumulating or filling in the grain kernel. 50% of the grain's final weight has been achieved, and the whole plant moisture content is approximately 65 to 68%. The grain is still in the early stages of development and is soft and pliable. The plant has reached its maximum height. Older leaves also continue to die. The soft dough stage typically lasts 7 to 10 days. During hard dough or stage 8, grain has reached 75% of its final dry weight, and nutrient uptake is almost complete. The grain can no longer be crushed between the thumb and index finger. The seed coat is no longer green and has turned its final color, which can be white, cream, bronze or red. Lower leaves lose functionality due to remobilization of nutrients to grains or senescence. Final yield depends on the rate of grain dry matter accumulation and duration. The hard dough stage typically lasts 10 to 14 days. Sorghum plants have reached physiological maturity or stage 9 when a dark spot or black layer forms on the bottom of the kernel. The grain achieves maximum dry weight and turns a dark brown color. The panicle dries and turns brown. The plant stops accumulating dry matter and transfers nutrients and energy from the leaves and stem to the grain. The moisture content of grain typically varies between 25 to 35 percent. The total time of reproductive growth from flowering to physiological maturity is approximately 40 to 45 days. Because the sorghum panicle does not go through growth stages evenly, maturity differences within the head are normal. Sorghum is typically harvested in late summer or early fall. The crop can be harvested mechanically or by hand, depending on the scale of production. Once harvested, the seeds can be used for food or planting the next crop. In summary, sorghum goes through several distinct growth stages during its life cycle, the duration of each stage can vary depending on the variety of sorghum, environmental conditions, growing conditions, and region. In general, the life of a sorghum plant lasts between 90 to 120 days from planting to harvesting. Understanding the life cycle of sorghum is essential for achieving optimal yield and quality, as well as for proper crop management. More than 60 million tons of sorghum are produced worldwide each year. The United States of America is the largest sorghum producer in the world. Nigeria is the second largest one. Other major producing countries are Mexico, India, and Sudan. Sorghum is an important source for human food, animal feed, beer production, biofuel, medical application, and industrial application. For human food, sorghum is used to make a variety of delicious and healthy dishes. Here are some popular sorghum-based foods. Sorghum flour can be used to make porridge, a popular breakfast food in many African countries. Sorghum flour can also be used to make gluten-free bread. Sorghum crackers are a healthy snack option. Sorghum pancakes are perfect for breakfast or brunch. Sorghum pilaf is a great side dish for a variety of meals. Sorghum salads are healthy and flavorful. As to nutrition, sorghum is a good source of carbohydrates, proteins, dietary fiber, and many essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Sorghum is also low in fat. Sorghum is naturally gluten-free, making it a good choice for people who have celiac disease or gluten intolerance. Overall, sorghum is a highly nutritious grain that is rich in a variety of essential nutrients.